Hey guys, Diana here from Garden Love. I'm so excited to be making this video like every other video I make because my garden is really my sanctuary and I just love working at it. Um, yesterday, I spent all day cleaning up this little courtyard. It doesn't seem like I did much, but I sure did. I can assure you I was so exhausted by the end of the day and I did make a video at the end of the day. However, somehow I got deleted, so here we go again. So I made a few changes. I actually, let me give you a little tour and um, I'm gonna walk you through it on what I plan on doing. Let's start with this area here. Can you see that? So I had a plant there from the previous owner and I did not like it. It was big and bushy. I don't recall the name of it, but it's meant to grow big, like the type of plants you see over the freeways <laughs> that are growing big with big red flowers. How, anyways, there was one there, so I took it out yesterday and I moved this beautiful kefir line right there. I put like a block there to put it over. And then I put my blueberry bush there and I have my rosemary growing right there. And then I basically put some new soil here just so it can look neat and nice and put all the pull out all the weeds. And it came out great. And then, let's move over here. I went ahead and put my gala apple right there and I have to get something to um, actually put these you know to hold them down so it can continue to grow as Spiller style so I thought that looked really neat now if we move back this way I'm not sure if you've seen this before this is my apple tree that I just got from actually a person from Facebook didn't want it in his property anymore because he was going to do some modification to his yard and he put an ad if we wanted it I went with my husband to dig it up and we put it in here it's pretty tall about 10 feet tall I actually took about two feet off the top and I might have to take some more off but I was a little nervous. I did record some of the footage of us doing the work, but I was a little nervous about about it surviving because it's such a big tree. It must be like 10 years old. But now I've noticed that there are some surviving leaves, which is a very good sign. Um, it means that the roots are taking and that it, it is producing some water flow and minerals and vitamins to the top of these branches. And it was perfect timing because it's winter now so it's not that hot and the tree is kind of it's dormant right now so it's perfect timing so we will see what happens with this beautiful apple tree over the spring and summer okay i'll keep you guys posted and here are my kefir limes i have two of them i completely harvest all the limes off of this and now there's brand new blooms this is an awesome tree it continues to flower and produce um year round and this one as well. This one um, is actually older and for some reason it doesn't produce as well as the other one, but it does produce. And I haven't seen any blooms. Now, another thing I did yesterday is, do you see that right there? Let's see, right there. That is actually my passion fruit. I moved it back there because my hope is that this can be, this whole wall can be covered with my passion fruit. And ideally, I mean move this way so you can see ideally I would like see how this fence is really low and see how that door is open I'm a although I make videos I am a private person so I would like like fence to be about that high so I have a little bit more privacy so I need to figure out a way to put like stakes and like maybe wiring going across so I can um put the passion fruit growing along that fence a little bit taller and it'll provide more um privacy so that is what my goal is for this fence i would like a little bit more privacy if you guys have any idea on how to create that or if you guys any of the youtubers have created uh, a fence themselves with some edible plants i would love to see it and hear about it so um let's see and then back to this when i moved in this beautiful eureka lemon was here it hasn't produced um, the previous owner told me that it never produced the five years that she was here. Uh, I amend the soil and I pruned it, okay? And while I was back here, let's go back here. While I was back here putting my passion fruit, I actually saw some blooms, which I was very excited to see. Do you see that? There's like blooms all over the place. 
So I am very thrilled to be able to <laughs> make this. Do you see that? This tree produce. I'm going to be super excited if it produces lemon. I'm definitely going to have to send, take a picture and send it to the previous owner. Just as so you can see that the tree does produce. And, um, and just to let her know, I guess. <laughs> and here is the passion fruit. I have it in the container there. If it likes it here and it seems to be growing, I am going to take it out of that and put it in the ground so it can go along this fence. Um, and yes, so let's get out of this little hole. And so now I have my Meyer lemon here and I have my pomegranate. Um, my pomegranate that I actually propagated from my big pomegranate and I actually was concerned that it looks dead but actually I scratched the the trunk and surprisingly there's green under it which means that there's the roots are doing what they're supposed to but it is winter so that means that at this moment pomegranates are dormant so we will see what happens over spring and summer okay so let's move over here I have another blueberry, which, oh my God, you guys have to see this. I was so excited to see this. Look at that. Do you see that? Those are the first blooms of my blueberry. I am super excited because these are Lily's favorite, favorite fruit in the garden. Every summer she's out there picking the, the blooms. So let's see. And then over here, as you guys know, I also pop propagated this from my neighbors. It's doing great. I pulled it out of the original container and the roots were root bound, which is an awesome sign for this little plant. I put it in here. I might have to repot it because this is gonna be too small, but it just needs a little bit more room to grow, okay? And then over here, there's another blueberry. And back where we started, my kefir line. Look at it. Doesn't that look great? Anyways, guys, so I am super, super thrilled to share this. I have a lot of plans for this little section, my courtyard. I want to make it all edible. Um, and as you can see, I already have tons of containers with fruit trees in here, which means that you don't need a big space to actually produce plants, to produce fruit or vegetables. I mean, I've even thought about maybe doing like a little... Um, uh, raised bed right here and grow some vegetables that don't require a lot of sun so if you guys um, know of any that I can grow here where it doesn't get a lot of sun it gets sun but not that much um, let me know leave a comment down below and I would love to try it out I even thought about growing um, climbing cucumbers along that fence um, but I'm gonna have to see how much sun I get there because I know the cucumbers need sun Anyways, guys, for those of you who continue to follow me, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm having so much fun making these videos. And for those newcomers, don't forget to subscribe because I have a lot of upcoming videos coming up. And hit the like button and leave some comments so I know you're enjoying this video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this tour of my tiny little courtyard with lots of edible trees in here and containers. You guys have a blessed day. Bye-bye.